you're working on on the uh, on the Swiss triplet, right? And as as you just stated, you, you well, we noticed several lessons ago. You it was that lesson on the drum set where yeah I asked you to play Swiss triplets around the drums like a la Letty White. <laughs> and it, it was foreign to you, and and so what you have learned is how to th you're really throwing for two, right? To play a triplet, and uh, now I had you playing it really slow, and and that's what's tricky because a student that can't get things to rebound, the tendency is to of course want to slow it down for them, but then at a certain speed the stick doesn't want to rebound. So we're, we're kind of slow. I had you at 60 for dotted quarter, right? That's pretty slow. Might yeah. Be really, go ahead and play that for me. And let's just see what it looks like. <coughs> Pardon me. Joe, Joe, yeah. I, it's okay. I mean, right now we're not playing over the bar line. The metronome isn't a quarter note. Could be, but we've we've decided that the metronome would be a dotted. Wait a second. And so your metronome is clicking in duple. First of every. Uh, Otherwise, I just, said, I just said metronome. I said mm. I know, you know it's you know we're at a quarter uh, dotted quarter. What's that? However you want to play this, even if you want to play it to a quarter. My point is is that your metronome is in duple. It's it's click it's it has a different sound every four notes. Yeah, yeah. Let me do and, it. and I I think that it would be hipper to just have a metronome as an infinitely partitioned line. Yeah, yeah. The famous Richard Wilson outgoing voice message. Classic. Give me one second. I want to adjust this now. See, <clears throat> I'm coming up. This is if you, when you watch it, it's, it's almost like a minute. It, it, you know, there's this kind of thing happening. Yes. Whereas if you were going to come up and play two notes together, you could you could run a stick along. <laughs> I don't know how you do right? it. It has this kind of thing. Almost balance. See that? You never come like, like this or like this. If you actually want to come up. It's nice and flat. But nice and flat. No. No, you're up. You're pitting your elbows to yourself. You're like, you look like this. I've just come down. Relax your arms. <clears throat> okay, relax. Bring them up. Get, get the sticks into position at the full. And, and now we're simply going to come up. Not better. There. Okay, now pull your elbows in and see how feel, weird that feels. Yeah. The stress that creates. Now let them hang again. Let them hang there. Come on back down. The elbows fall back into place, don't they? Hanging by the side. 
2, copy me. And I have a three-finger grip. Go ahead and take your fourth and fifth off, just for fun. Okay. Notice, notice that the fulcrum, it doesn't run directly perpendicular to this thing. It seems to be running at a slight angle, doesn't it? Now what it's doing in the hand At that point, it feels like it's 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 running, maybe, <laughs> maybe. You might even consider the fulcrum running off somewhere in this direction. I mean, look, right, following the finger, <clears throat> but your finger looks right, but your finger looks like slid down the stick and pointing down, so that your fulcrum there. My fulcrum. One, two, there. Weird, huh? <clears throat> you know how you know how Louis Belson does that? I mean, he plays with two sticks. Yes. You've seen that, right? Yeah. Right. So the energy is running off in two different directions, but really the energy is is central to both sticks. Fascinating. Okay, so once again, relax the arms. Wow. Coming into position. Then we're going to phase. And now you have that the look that like you could rest something across from this. Okay, so when we're playing this with strictly, we want to come up. We could play it quieter. No, I'm not moving as much. But if I want more volume, I'm going to raise more and I'm going to turn to the ceiling more. Try it again. Metronome back on at uh, the metronome on up to 72 now. <clears throat> See what that looks like. You start to play, you lose some of that. Nice and flat, isn't it? Just doing.
anymore. You always want to come up extra. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, just come on up. I, I, I don't mind you waiting here for a minute. It's totally remedial because it's one smooth motion. Okay, there. See? Feel that. Come on, leave the feet down. Three finger grip. Okay, and now turn. Good, you didn't get, you barely came up anymore. See, that's better. Come on up again. Just go on up. No, just, just, just go on up. Take your hand away. Go on up. Leave the bead down. You brought the bead up a little. How does that feel? Can you feel it? Come to the ceiling or the top. Yeah. Come on, put your hand away. Just let that collapse. Your hand follow it down. You can let your hand follow it down. It, it should stay flat. Now come on. Now put your hand on there. Now follow it down. Better. Now are you really as flat as you were at the top? I'm not sure. Decide what that feels like. This is very flat. Dick Wilson used to sometimes put something on my, usually on this area. See, I can do this. When we go to play drums, we're going to go into half turned over, branch, who knows what. This. Hard because this is, this is kind of heavy, heavier on this side. This meditation on what is all things snare drum technique, we are staying in a palm down. I don't know if I can do it. Tricky. Okay, there. I did it. Ah. Almost. See, mine's flat. Mine. <laughs> go on up. This is the first time I've ever tried this. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you're almost all the way up. Now, if feels to me, if I were to make a real turn, things might get oh, pretty cool. Almost. That was pretty cool. You try. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's better. That's what we want to be looking for. We know we really want to get up to that place where you can just feel everything balanced. Good, Joe. Try it again. Put the stick on top? Now, now, you, now you know what that feels like. That's cool. You can fool with, fool around with that at home. You know, I have a level. I actually have a level. I think Richard Martinez inspired me to go and get a level. I would tape a little level to my hand. I'd had one on this. I had a little level taped to the sticks. <clears throat> so I could see if I was the little bubble. Was it really in the center? Yes. A little, little nerdy, but okay, so just going up in the right. See in your left, the stick would roll right down. Look at your left. You're like half turned over. See? You're not flat. You're not flat. Your left typically isn't flat. You're going to have to work on that. Okay, so okay, go ahead at, at 72 and try to maintain that. Okay. See, that's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say one more thing. That, and I, these are the metaphors that Richard Martinez and I avoided in the articles that we wrote for ah. Eva Wilson Technique. Uh, I've already talked about how Jack Berger came back from one of the drum hangs, <clears throat> having talked about, it's actually where we divvied up Richard Wilson's personal effects in piles and then we all took a number, responded to a number. And the Jack was, you know, we're hanging out and playing. Awesome. Hanging out with these guys. That's Richard F. Wilson has such a beautiful vocal. So Martinez, it's like we're, everyone's talking, Falcom, Falcom. Martinez goes in and Googles Falcom and the Alberta School of Medicine, Canada, has the three classes of, of the lever system. So at that point, Kudos to Martinez for uncovering the full breadth 
of what is relative to the fulcrum because it doesn't exist in a vacuum. The fulcrum has fulcrum, there has to be a lever arm, and there has to be force to resistance. And there are three classes of lever systems. No. Okay. But right. So Richard Wilson had such a beautiful but the wrist is a fulcrum as well, isn't it? And you can imagine that moving around this, Dick Wilson would say lead the beat down. Richard Martinez says you're moving around a fixed point in the universe. So here's another fulcrum. Quite frankly, the elbow is a fulcrum and so is the shoulder. And they all act as hinges. You see? Right. It's a hinge, a hinge, a hinge. Maybe we wouldn't call it. And so here's where I'm going with this. We decided to only talk about what's actually happening, which is it's some kind of lever system. Right? However, metaphors, I talked to Vinny about this. I don't know, I like metaphors. Okay? That Vinny likes me. And I get it, because sometimes a metaphor can click with a student. So that's why I'll mention this. <laughs> you, have you heard the idea of a puppet on a string? Yeah. You ever heard that? That never, yeah, worked, that, that one. That never worked for me. Neither did it's a hammer and a nail. Neither did it's a whip. Neither did it's a begging dog. Neither did it's a praying mantis. Right. Maybe this will work, because you can imagine, right? Coming up like, like that. Yet the puppeteer has a string attached right here, and he lifts it up, and that's what would happen, right? And if he dropped it, stuff would happen too, without you doing much. Yeah. Okay? We're just going to make sure that we're turning our wrist, but really, we could we go high enough. And we don't even turn and just let everything go. Oh, no, we, we don't get much of a mystery. We really come up and just, I get about that much. You still get something. No, you're not feeling it. I'm, I'm saying, now this is just in a vacuum. I don't want to take you down some path that is counterproductive. But, right, so if, if we come up high enough, all the way up, Almost all the way. We really come up almost all the way. All the way up. Now, you don't get to turn your wrist. You don't get to do anything but ha allow the puppeteer to release oh, the right. that is engaged. And you, you won't get much of a wrist hurt, but you'll get something. Yeah. yeah. You just fall. You I still get, saying, yeah. you'll get some kind of throw without doing anything if you come up properly, especially if you come up high enough. Room for all of them. Right. Now I'm asking you to feel that and turn as your arm falls. Dick would say you turn as your arm, but you have to come up before you drop it. But you want to do something and you never get the feeling of it hanging. Yeah, now you now you drop it and turn. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. Go and put the Swiss triplet up to uh, put it up to 92. Let's see what happens at 92. Okay, no, no, no. It's going to bring out some of the habits that I'm trying to get rid of here. like it did at the other speed, doesn't it?
looks like it did at the other speed. It doesn't feel like it doesn't, you don't sense any more tension. Like the stuff is going on, it's just a little more, whatever I'm feeling is happening a little more quickly. Okay. So as it got faster, everything got tighter and smaller, right? You lost the ability to come up. Ba ba, ba da, ba da, ba da. Just do this with me. Uh, now, I'm, now I'm nice and loose. Ah, 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 just do that. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, come on. Ah, ah, here. Ah, ah. Hand drums, man. Don't you see the whole thing just cascades down? There you go. Come on, let it come up. Get, let it come. There you go. There, there, better. Yeah, you get the whole system engaged. So you're coming up pretty high, huh? No, no, you lost it. Don't start doing something weird. You gotta come up. This has gotta be hanging. Right, as you come up, this falls. Put on a string. Ah, 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 ah. Come up even higher for fun. Yep. There you go. There you go. Go ahead and put a stick in your hand and do that. Just play one note every time you land. Do that. Come up that high and do that. That's not coming up. That's not really coming up. There. And you don't have to do this. I know what you're doing. And if it was smaller, it would just be this. about this stuff now. Yes. Uh, and especially at the slower tempos. You know, it really wants to start to bounce. For instance, stick controls. You have to be careful to just the thing wants to really start to bounce at around 92. That's when things start to really get bouncy. But but it'll bounce if you have a good fulcrum, if you know what you're doing. So we're, what I'm, what I'm, I'm not even discussing too much with you, the fulcrum, right? I, I'm not really talking about it. Because we really have a three-finger grip. Show me your three-finger grip. Okay, so where do you where do you feel the thumb sending the energy? Thumb? Well, the energy with the thumb is going this way. Look of the forefinger, that energy is going this way. Okay, that's not it. You want the energy of the thumb to run directly in between the first and second, the index finger and the middle finger. Murray would call okay. the first one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Index finger, middle finger. The energy is going directly across there. You're, you're creating a fulcrum up here. You're thinking that way? Ah. 
Don't you remember the car what Carlos told me? Yeah. He said, Oh, the fuck on me, yeah, it's a middle finger, but I like to think of it as right in the middle between the three fingers. Right in there. Okay? Okay, try the Swiss triplet one more time. Now slow, slow it back down to 80. It gives you a chance to make a relaxed motion, maintaining this focus. Got the fulcrum. Are you really sending that energy? You done more quietly. You done more quiet. That more quietly. Okay. Quiet. Remember, I was. I, I already demonstrated that. It's just coming up. Coming up less. Left, show me the up part of the throw. You never did, you didn't do that once. Just now, you demonstrated. Nope, it's not going out. It's not going out. It's not going out. So here's what I, I, I'm going to try to figure out ways to help you on this. Let's try this. And then I want to move on and, and I can help you with this through other strokes and by other means. Okay, so now I just want you to do this. Keep the, how do we do? Yeah, I just do this. Go up any higher. You're at the very top. You're done. Just going to go down now. Oh, <laughs> right, it was really good. So we're going to, you can bring them up together. I don't care. Bring them up together. Now we're going to go left, right. See what you did? You did the same thing twice. A little glitch in your mind was a little bit <clears throat> novel because of an approach. So we're, we're bringing them up together. Now, when you drop your, the left doesn't fall until you start to turn your wrist. So let's just turn. Let's let's start. Let's start left. We'll turn left, and now right. Again, left, right, right. Now we're going to go, let's see, left, right. No, no, you have to get to here, never get to there, and then left, right. Don't come on up anymore. It's to the here, and then da da. Oh, let's bring them up together because the other's not working. Bada. There you go. Bada. Come on. There you go. So we're doing bada, up, bada, up, bada, up, bada, up, bada. There it is. Up, bada. There it is. Much better. Now do this. Da, da, da. Up, da, da, da. Da da da. You have to come up. Now go on. Da da da. There, go up together. Put the climb in there too. Yeah, we're doing this with triplet. Only we're doing it in a weird way to promote natural motion. So you have to come up. Just come up for a minute. You got the other pretty fast. You were able to do this. Ba da up. Ba da. Now I just want you to go. Ba da da. Da da. Have to come up. Up by da da. 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 Why are you turning your right so high in the air? Left isn't turning that high. Turn them the same height. Whatever you did. How, how did you do it here? It should be the same. Not, not this. This is you. Right, right. There it is. You gotta turn the same amount. Four turns in the left. 
Uh, uh, you gotta be up here. You, here's here's what you're doing. Breaking, I'm breaking this down now. Breaking this down for you. Hold on. I'm Wilson sitting with Kevin Kraft, helping him with his downstroke on the dashboard. Okay, coming up. This is what you want to do. And now, but this will fix it because we just did it. It was good. In the left. Here's what you want to do. You 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 start to do this. It it doesn't just turn. You do this. This is how this is your depth. This is you. Does it look like you? That's you. See this. This would be you. Even if I get you to come up here, you don't stay up here. You right away do this. This somehow maybe draws your arm in. What will draw your arm in is leaving everything alone. It really will. So when we get to here, we don't do that. We don't roll in. Do it again. Left. Focus left. Come on up. This forces you to do. No, your elbows didn't come out. Now you're back to this. Let's do it again. Just had this, and I know you'll have it again. Be nice and flat in the left too. Not half turned over. So you come up nice and flat. Ah, uh, right. And now when you go da da, yeah, it just turns up. And it, this this will fall. This will fall. This is this is staying in line. You don't need to bring this in. This is just this has gone up straight and it's going to fall straight. Do it again. Yeah, all you're concentrating. All you have to do is concentrate on turning. As, that's really all I'm doing. I get to here, and this, I'm, I'm just doing this. And I'm up here, and it, it falls, I do that. Yeah, that's all it is. So there it is. Now do that with doubles. Play doubles. As soon as you go to play doubles, you start, no, no, come on, come on up. Ah, ah, ah. See, it's hard for you in the left, isn't it? No, come on. You gotta come up. You can wait a sec. No, come up together. Now let them fall instead of playing singles. There it is. Do it again. Yeah, don't go swirling in. Just turn. Better. Turn up to the ceiling. You don't have to come in. If you if the arm really is falling, it falls straight. It doesn't come in. No, your arm wants your elbows coming in, and it should. But the wrist doesn't come in. It stays straight. That's the whole reason of, uh, for the elbow moving. It stays. See, it, it, comes, it keeps it straight. It keeps it straight. No, it keeps it straight. Come on up. Let the elbow come out so it can stay straight and come on up. There it is. And when it comes down, it, it'll stay straight. So come on down. There. See, it stays straight. All you do is turn. Now you've got to come up here and wait just a sec. Let me know you feel. I'll go out a little. Okay, good. Just come straight down. Boom. Oh. Make, play, do that and play a double. <clears throat> play a double. Ah, good, good. There. That's what you're not doing, but you can do it. You can do it in a vacuum, separate from the stroke in real time. That's cool. If you can do it in a vacuum, it means you'll be able to do it in real time. So I would practice that. Cool exercise. There you go. That's all. There you go. Come on, don't go throwing it. It's just falling straight. Got that. Actually felt that. Yeah. Let's let's come at this another way. Now we're going to work on <clears throat> we're going to work on the throw and the focal. Pull out uh, shit control. What page are we looking at? Page five. <clears throat> Put the metronome on at 72. Okay. Okay, and now play exercise number nine. Remember the metronome is a half note. So it's as if the eighth notes are being played in sixteenths. Right? 
again. No, the elbow's not going out. This just goes up, and that's what happens. There. Put in just a little bit and feel the tension. Oh, no. Okay. All right, so play three, three rebounds. Okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. You have to get to this position every time. Ah. Let's play the tempo. But it's not working. That's not it. I know. I know. It's just you're faking it. See, you don't listen to your attack. Da, da, da. Maybe we could slow down a little. Put it to 66. Just to give you more time to think. Da, da, da. Now watch. It's not this. Do that it creates a certain yeah yes see it's just a gentle beautiful thing a little motion with three rebounds uh, just go up and down up up down up Straight it is. Down. Better. Come on up. Elbow didn't come out. You're all pinched in. It, it just didn't just do this. There. Okay. Yeah, and just let it fall and get three gentle notes. Walking over that fulcrum, sending the energy from the thumb directly to that place in between the index finger and the middle. Better. Do it again. Go ahead. Better. So, okay, so you, you're starting to get things in 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 a vacuum away from the stroke, which is cool. So just do that. Well, I'll come up with a cool thing. So metronome is at uh, 70, uh, 66. And uh, we're going to kind of uh, perhaps perhaps we'll we'll duplicate the concept that I just came up with because that that's working for you. So okay, we want to be nice and flat because we know. See this technique? I know you can play it. I know, but that's not this technique. That's and it. And if you, if I ask you as a composer, play that, and you went, I'd say, excuse me, I don't want the first note to be that much louder. I want da da da. And you'd go, play it quieter, and it would still go da da da. <laughs> Better. But I want you to now feel. So what we're looking for is the technique, because we can play this in a bunch of other ways. 
Yes. We're looking for this motion. Three finger grip. So that the fulcrum is exactly where we know it's going to be all the time. So you're just going to come up and show me that position. Good, not too bad. Your elbows. And you don't want to throw your fingers open. If you throw this finger open, you'll spoil this. Try it again. You've got to come up and wait. Anything that works for you. Go ahead and turn. Gentle now. And then go tap. Go dot, 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 tap. No, 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 no. Go right back to this. Out, in, out, in. Sorry, I know that must be a drag behavior. It's not out in, it's up down. And what we're going to do to get it, it's better, it's better. But what we're, we're going to do to, to lock this in, building muscle memory. So even if you're not playing the sword perfectly, it will come. I want you to wait here. You need a moment to assess. Am I doing what Kevin is asking me to do? Believe me. Yeah. It's what Dick Wilson would be asking you. Okay. Okay, now you're going to turn. You get three finger grip. Three narrow fulcrum. You get three gentle notes. Good. And at the end of those, you're going to put the other note in. So it'll go one, two, three, four. Fourth note will be in there. Okay. Now listen to what you just did. <clears throat> you finally, I finally got you just to, just to watch, just to do this. And you went. Exaggerate. You got these nice gentle notes, but you see, this this note is going to be on its own. It has to be relative to the volume I'm playing. So it's a, it sounds so it sounds a little like this, right? Da da da. Uh, last, this is what we're going for. Da da uh, da. Just do this with me. Da da. Just do this with me. Da da. Mine seems to just float. Watch, it just floats up and down. Let it float up and down. Turn your wrist. Copy me. Come on up to here. Let it fall. This is nice. Very flat again. So we're just looking for this. Da, 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 da. My stick seems a lot looser in my hand than yours, doesn't it? Just, just do this. Leave this the middle finger. Yeah, it doesn't need to be as tight as you think. Yeah, now that looks better. The stick is kind of floating in your hand, isn't it? Hey, it doesn't look like this. Watch. It, it has it has this floaty. Let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Has this nice floaty appearance, and even when I have a grip, just watch, just watch, just take this in. It has that nice floaty feeling. It's a little it's out of control, a little wild, wild chill out here. See how it's kind of floating, and as a, and, and even when I have a grip, it still stays, seems to maintain. No, don't play. It still seems to maintain that floaty quality. Okay. It's not too tight in my hand, and 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 as opposed to that's what you're supposed to do. A little harder. See, the stick is like glued, trapped in the hand in a sense. So this is a way to learn to turn your wrist, touching the stick. But what I'm looking for, see, that doesn't have. Do is play singles for a minute with a little relaxed grip. Nice and flat. 
Display symbols. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. Here's sixty. Dot 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 dot. Looking for that gentle relaxation. Do this, do this for me, do this for me. Up in the air, copy me. Slow it down a little and, and give me a side view. Give me the same view I'm giving you. It seems like you're more interested in going down, 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 down. I'm just, I'm just waving. I might be making notes up here. I don't know. Okay. It doesn't change. Okay. What? I had it for a minute. I'm just doing this, right? It, it's, yours comes, oh, yours, you seem to, you really want to play, you want to hit a drum. I'm just waving. I'm, I just, I'm just waving, and it just happens that, oh, there's a drum there. I'm just waving. Put the drum up here, sorry. I'm just waving. Oh, there's a drum up here. Like it's the same rhythm. Now, now if that's, if that's the way, get underneath. Keep the motion, move on. Don't change the motion. Put it underneath. Put the stick underneath now. There you go. Put that on the pad. Put that on the pad. See how that is? Just put that on. Don't try to play it. Yeah. There you go. It's a little looser in your hand now. It's a little motion. Don't have the switch angles. Add the other hand and don't clutch the stick to death. Now take the sticks off the surface and just make that motion. Just make the motion. No, both of them. Keep waving. Uh, uh, uh. See how see how they're different? Mine never stops. Watch. You're doing up, up. Yours always comes like this. Up, up, down, 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 down. And even in the air. Watch mine. Just, just wave it. There you go. There you right. go. Yeah, there you go. See, it's just waving. You're not trying to play a drum. It right. just happens that the drum is so close you can't help to make a tap kind of thing. So just imagine I just lifted up your thing and there you go. You can stop. It was great. I'm just going to lift up your pad now and it's going to touch. So just lower everything a tiny bit, but don't change a damn thing. Just let it go. There yeah, you go. It's much more relaxed now. Oh, oh, God. Yes, yes. Now what you're going to do, okay. So that's that's the feeling you're going to have when you make your little tap in the, the left. So now we're just put the metronome going. Okay. Stay with me. So right. So yeah, you got it. You got it. So now we're just up to here. We're just going to do this remedial thing. Kick, kick, and we're going to go. Da da da. Ah. Tick, tick, da da da, uh, tick, tick, tick. You can wait up here. You can get up here whenever you, after you're done. Da da da, uh, click, click, click. You don't want you to wait up. Don't come down and do this. It's called. Try that. No, no, no. You have to wait up here. I'm determined to get you to feel. You don't feel this. No, nope, you're holding your elbow in. Forgotten it already. There you go. Kind of poke it. This it just comes out. Right again. Done it before. There it is. Just a little. Don't do it. Okay. Now the metros play the pattern and 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 stop. Go again. Wait. Get get back up. You can take as much time as you want to get to that position. Do it again. It's a big throw. It's this gentle little thing. 
There you go. You got it. So flat. Bigger grip. You're gentle in the right. Just a gentle turn. Don't go throwing your fingers open. Just leave it alone. Good, good. You're getting it. You got it. You got it. Much better. Do it again. No, you need to wait. As soon as you don't wait, we get this. I don't want this. I want just, just this. Don't go throwing your finger open like that. You're gentle on the way down. You won't have to throw your fingers open if it's gentle. There you go. Now go the other way. Do that the other way. Get up in the top at the top. No, you gotta wait. No. This is Oh, did it the other hand, just wait at the top. No, nope. wait, the wait. Elbow didn't come out. Even when you wait, that, that's what I mean. I'm trying to teach you. Now, don't point your first finger, or you'll have to pull it in like you just did. No, just, it's just this gentle fall. It, it, it'll have a little bit of this feeling. Remember, remember I, I got you to come way up, yeah. and, and I taught you that, and I taught you that if you didn't do anything at all, Still good enough? It has more of that feeling. You know that feeling. You keep the metronome on. But I just want you to get to here and stop trying to do something and know that if you just let it fall, you're going to get a little. Barely need to do anything. Okay? That's elbow, elbow, uh, no. <laughs> you have to wait. Just wait there for a minute. You can wait. Go back up. Stop. Stop. Okay. Now you know the elbow's full. You have the three finger grip. Are you pointing your first finger? Now you're going to have that feeling as everything falls. It's a very gentle swing. Barely everything. Like that. There. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Don't play in. Just wait. Go through the checklist. The top. What are you going to ask yourself? Am I pointing my finger, which you are a little bit? Okay, cool. Do I have a three-finger grip with the force running between the first and second finger? Index and middle? What's my right doing? Is my right just going to do that little turn that I learned where you're just waving in the air? Or are you going to do this? Okay, so that's your exercise. You're going to go through nine. Nine through 13. Okay, now 13 has four rebounds. So I guess we'll just go like this, like this. One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 and I don't mind how long you wait. Am I holding? Am I? Is my? Am I in the right position? Is my right just going to do this? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, am I, if I have everything? Do I? I don't have to play right away. Uh, 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 uh. My left it died, and I didn't get four good rebounds. It's a little slow. I have to give it a little more to get four rebounds. But you're going to wait, and you're going to go, ah, ah, ah. You're gonna have to wait because it's not working. You're just right back to where you, the very thing we're trying to undo. So show me how you're gonna do. No, you I'll can't. take four and then wait. So you have to wait. You have to wait at the top. Just go. Oh no! You have to go up and wait. And then so should tell me what questions. No, your elbow didn't come out. Let's go on up. No, your elbow didn't come out. Okay, now what? There you go. Go on up and wait. Now what are you gonna ask yourself? Just tell me while you're waiting. See, I did it. Well, when I'm waiting, yeah. did my did my elbow come out? Yeah. How's my foot? Yeah, it came out a little. Oh. Did, did I throw my fingers open a little? A little when I landed. I didn't need to. Not bad. Wait, don't do it now. You have to go through. Did my elbow come out? How's yeah. my grip? 
if it's just going to fall down, like Kevin showed me how you don't, don't need to do anything and you'll get a motion. There you go. Now go the other way, up the other way. Oh, you actually have to do this. Get it. You have to wait and ask yourself questions. Now go up the other way and wait. Be patient. And you're the patient guy. Throw your hand open a little bit, much better, much better. You are going to have to explore your own level of patience. The Canadian, they're a patient culture. I, they're so relaxed and they're polite. Bring some of that to your point. Be polite to the surface. Don't hurt the pad. Put your hands. That's much better. Okay? There's nothing. Once you start to really lock that in, you can at some point. Sure. If you want to actually try to play the stroke. But I would only play, I would try to play the, I might only play the strip once. Da, 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 and then I would stop. Da, da, da. I'd go, and I'd wait. Da, 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 da. When I thought I'd done that enough and I was feeling this, da, 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 da. Then I might once, da, 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 da. I'd stop. Take that kind of discipline. Get point pokey with just a small. Let's take a quick look at the double simple strokes. Okay. So I think I had you at around 92. Yeah. Right. Okay. It was a range, but I think I had you get, get up to 92, which is sort of in the world that. I mean, we're, okay, so we were, I don't know if you, if you slowed your metronome down to 60 for that. We were at 60. What tempo do you want, Kevin? Got this switch. Put it at 92. Let's see how it works. What do you want me to play? A seven stroke one? I want you to play. You play. You can always start with doubles. Okay, once again, watch, 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 again, I'm not trying, I'm not really thinking about down, down, yeah, I'm, I'm making this motion, and then the surface gets in the way, so I have this, so let the surface get in the way, go, you're starting back, no, you're down, down in the right, you're doing this. Enough time so it seems like maybe you see I'm not thinking down, I'm also thinking up. I want to lift that stick up. 
I don't make it such a big deal about the down. I'm just turning my wrist. And then if I come in contact with the surface, I get this. It's like you, you just happen to be playing these notes because there's a surface in the way. See how it looks? See that floaty thing I showed you? Remember the floaty thing? See how it's not, it's not, yeah. it's this floaty thing. And then I turn that into doubles. Bouncy minor, look how bouncy. Look how high the bounce is. It almost comes up as high as I'm turning. Not quite. Look how bouncy it is. You're you're like down in here somewhere. See how bouncy? It goes boing, 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 boing. Look how much it bounces up. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not throwing my fingers up. This gentle thing. Okay, go back to doubles. Maybe that's a cool way for you to start. Well, we'll have you just wave in the air. Get that nice feeling. See, I'm searching for it right now, too. I want to I wanna lock, really lock into it. I'm going to put that on the surface. And then I'm turning that into doubles, nice bouncy doubles. Okay. Five stroke roll. For me, it feels like this. Watch. Watch. Just play alternating clams with me. Um, a big raise. Yeah, I could get to this. We could do this again. <laughs> right? I just want a nice big this and clams. So watch. See, see, hear the flam? See, you got the flam? So I got that top. Da 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 ah, da 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 ah 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 ah, da da ah, da da ah, the flam, da da ah, da da ah, da da ah, da da ah, da da ah. So it's it's really, I'm thinking of. What would it sound like if I was or a drag? Da 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 da. is part of the stroke and I don't see it. Watch. Come on up, dude. Come on up. Let everything go. Not your elbow won't get your elbow won't get you up. The wrist. The puppet on the string will get you up. Come on up. Yeah, come on up. Ah. And let everything fall. See? Everything fall. Even if we do it quiet. Look, there it is quiet. Quiet. want to leave with your elbow though. I know you really want to do. We're slowly getting rid of that. Don't lead with the elbow, lead with the wrist. Wrist, wrist, wrist. It's wrist. See, this is wrist. And it 
always comes back to the center, to the floor. Okay, one more time. You're much slower right now because I can't get you to raise. Right? This is what we're working on. Right? So it's really, let's see. Da, da, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> There. Now, for all, now you can give me a big turn. There, that's it. So you need to do it in a vacuum. Well, as soon as you, you can't get the up to down yet. So let's, let's try that. Okay. Ah 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 ah. Ah. Let's do the five stroke way. And so it's a single handed stroke. So we're just going to go one two. So one two three four, and we're going to wait. Good. Yeah, there you go. I want the wrist turns a little bigger. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, sorry. Starts with the right. If we're going to bring the right up. And there's not much of an upstroke, is there? Because they're so slow. You don't even need to be in time anymore. Try to let it bounce. Oops. Let it bounce. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Bro. Yeah, go on. Go the other way. The other way. Yeah, you're really on the wrist. It's so slow. Just play it on the wrist with a nice, relaxed, that wavy motion. Play it on the wrist this time. Boom. Yeah, the other way. Boom. Da, 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 rest. Boom. Da, 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 rest. Boom. Could do that. Rest. No, I would have no. You lost it already. So we're going to give you it's in time, but I'm creating a rest. Try it. Da, 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 rest. Boom. Other way. Da, 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 uh, uh, rest. Boom. You can do it, dude. Okay, you really can. You just do do it. No, you lost it. Here's the rule is it? Is it? You're not getting uh whack. Da 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 uh. So 60 planks. No, this is cool. It's about feeling it. I don't care how fast or slow. If you have to put in a rest, this is the stuff. This is the real stuff. Okay, so 60. I'm not looking for speed. I'm looking for motion. So now, now we have a wrist fulcrum. We're on the wrist. Sixty eight notes. The rest give you a chance to set up. Yeah, that's it. I'm not crazy about the elbow on that one. Stop throwing your fingers open for the single. For the uh, here, it's just a nice relaxed grip. Good. So slow. Ah, oh, there it is. Now just play doubles in the air. Play doubles in the air on the wrist. Doubles in the air. Stop this. Just wave it. Wave at me. Nice. There. Now the surface is just going to be in the way. So come down a little lower and just let that bump into the surface. And there you go. There you go. See how much more relaxed it is? I go dot, 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 rest, blow. Uh, 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 that nice relaxed wavy double and then rest right anytime you want to go the other way go ahead I just want to get that nice wavy feeling for your doubles How solid that sounds. And I said, this is how solid that sounds. Back. 
Is that, is that right, Kevin? That, that was it. Okay. Which means I'm a genius. It's brilliant what you came up with. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I, I'm starting to feel the flow of what you're talking about rather than slamming those out. Getting that feeling as opposed <laughs> to that feeling. <laughs> this feeling. Me, what's interesting is that gentle, more gentle feeling that has control and finesse actually yeah. has, has more power. It does, it does. No, 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 this is this, I, you know, that's one of the things that I've realized studying this technique. I mean, you used to always tell me like, don't slam, don't slam, don't shove. And I got a sense now, I've developed this sense that that slamming, shoving motion, like if you were to do that, it just looks tense. Than, it, it looks tense because it feels tense. That's right. Rather than like, and the same thing with the doubles. If I was like, that looks tense as opposed to this. Remember, yeah. remember what I said. I, I, I mentioned to you that it's just bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. See, it's that. The camera. Beautiful job.